Hi everyone! If you're anything like me, you're probably wondering to yourself, how is it even possible that we are already through October and well into November? I just feel like time is flying as we head out of 2020 and into the new year. In fact, you might even be thinking about New Year's resolutions. So it's normally around this time of year that people begin to plan for next year. So real estate goals are often very popular with people, whether you're planning to gear up to maybe buy your first home or you're, you have a goal to sell your current home, or you might even have a goal to invest in real estate in the coming year. So whatever your goals may be, we thought now would be a great time to bring you all a quick market update just so that you can get a feel for what's going on in the real estate world right now and you can use that information to inform your decisions moving forward. So without further ado, let's take a look at what went down in the world of real estate this past month. Let's start with property values. In the last month, the median sale price of homes in Barnstable County was $515,000. This value actually stayed the same over the last month and did not rise or fall for the months of September and October. This is the first plateau in median sale price that we've seen since January of 2020. So sale prices have been on the up and up all year and seem to have leveled out, temporarily at least, in the last month's time. So what does this mean for sellers? It means that property values are still at an all-time high here in Barnstable County, up over 23% year over year. So if selling is a goal you have, as we head towards the new year, now is the time to do that. And here's another reason why. The average days on market for homes listed in the last month has continued to trend downwards, meaning houses that are listed are selling faster, which is obviously good news if you're a seller in this scenario, because not only are homes selling faster than they were last month, they are still selling at top dollar. Still not convinced now is the time to sell? Okay, let's look at inventory in Barnstable County last month. The month supply of inventory refers to the number of months it would take for the current inventory of homes on the market to sell given the current sales pace. Typically, six months of inventory is considered a level market. Anything more than six months of inventory is considered a buyer's market, right? Because that indicates more homes are sitting on the market and buyers now have a lot more options. Anything less than six months inventory is considered a seller's market because competition for these homes is now high, driving up home values and giving buyers less options. Last month, there was two months of inventory in Barnstable County, which is down over 65% year over year and has been trending downward for the last six months. And to put it into perspective just how low that two month supply of inventory really is, the last time Barnstable County even saw a neutral or level market, meaning at least six months of inventory in stock, was in September of 2019, so over a year ago. Barnstable County has been technically experiencing a seller's market for the last year. However, this last month marks an absolute all-time low supply of inventory. So sellers who are taking advantage of this market are reaping the benefits of having many buyers competing for their home, which is a win-win for the sellers. Now, if you're following along and thinking to yourself, Tori, one of my New Year's goals is to buy a home, not sell one. What the heck am I supposed to do? Don't panic. I know we just talked a lot about how competitive the market is right now for buyers, and this is true, but that doesn't mean that there aren't benefits to buying a home right now. So here's where I give our buyers some good news. Here we have a snapshot straight from Freddie Mac comparing interest rates on a 30-year fixed mortgage in the last year. As you can see, rates on average have dropped almost entire point, which is huge. Interest rates are still at near historic lows, so even though home values are up, and the odds of finding a crazy steal of a deal in today's market are kind of low, there's never been a more affordable time to get a mortgage. So if you enjoy the hunt and you're a patient buyer who is willing to potentially submit multiple offers before having your offer accepted, you could save big time down the line by paying less in interest on your home loan. So that was our quick and dirty market update for the month of October 2020. Hopefully you guys learned a little something and you feel more confident making your decisions moving into the new year in regards to real estate. If you have any questions that we didn't answer, or if you have a real estate goal that we can help you achieve moving into the new year, we'd love to hear from you, so please don't hesitate to reach out. And we'll see you next Thursday. Bye. I feel like I need more zhuzh. <laughs> Seriously. Being like me. <clears throat> that was disgusting. It's usually around this time of year that people begin to... No. Feel a little bit... Feel a little bit of something. We'd love to get your questions 